Hey guys, Scytho, and I just want to say a very big thank you for 1.5k. It was only about a month and a half ago we hit 1k. It's kind of epic, you know, how fast we're going. And also, I've got to talk about the Boxing League real quick. It's cancelled, a lot of people are also doing it, so I thought they'd just, you know, have your fun, and I don't have to deal with the Boxing League. So, you know, sorry for that. So let's get on with the video. So you may see in my home place, if you've seen the tour or any other video here, I do actually have... Uh, that side of me, sliding doors. I'll show you how they work. So you just tap the button and they open, and you tap it again, and they close. I will show you how to do that in this tutorial because you no, know, my tutorials did pretty well. You guys seem to like them, so have you you having another have another one? Now I've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube how to do this, but much complicated with like state machines and different animation and stuff. I'll show you how to do this, it literally, once you know how to do it, you can do it in about 60 seconds. And I'll show you what you need to make the door. What you want to get is a animation gizmo, a trigger volume. To demonstrate this, I built this tiny wall just to show you how to do it, so you can open and close the door from both sides. And yeah, let's go. So first, now you have your animation gizmo, you're going to want to just wire the play up to your trigger volume and you want to go to this red one which is when entering zone so this will now play whenever you put your hand in this zone then on your makeup button click configure and configure the animation gizmo and make sure it is stop at end and also stop at start if just in case then put the playback mode to ping pong then you want to put whatever your door is into like the frame and wire the door up to this top part of the animation gizmo so here we have our door inside the animation gizmo. Now this is the first frame you have, and to add a second frame, I'll show you how to do all this animation stuff that you need to do. Just press add here, and now this is a separate frame, so if you go between these, they're currently the same, but make sure this dot thing here is as far to the right as it can go, with only like a straight line between them. So on the second one, you just wanna go to move, and see this green arrow, I think that is what it will be for you guys as well. You just want to move this down, and now the door's open. So if you put these, this squiggly line has a tick, then you know it just makes it look smoother. So now if I were to, so let's bring our trigger volume over here. Now if you see, if we, when we put our hand in to the trigger volume, then look. Now it works. But there's no sort of visual, if you want to call it, for where we should actually be putting our hand. Now, that's you just want to edit this. And a solution I have is just to put like a random square there. You know, the thing you want to do with the square is make sure that it's visible on both sides. Get your trigger volume and sort of match up with where the button is. Now if I were to press the button, and then the door would open and close. Hope this was helpful for anyone that wants to build a door. And yes, although I did it many size, you can do it whatever size you want. And this really goes for any sort of door. So if someone has already done this method of making this kind of door, I'm very sorry. I have not seen your video. So sorry once again. Goodbye guys. Yes. Bang. Hey, I just left the party, it was banging. Show me some attention, I feel famous Also hide my energy, not draining